Hey, what's up guys? Quick question. Which one do you think is better? After Effects presets or Premiere Pro Mogarts? Or are they the same? Let's find out. After making so many videos on Mogarts and After Effects presets, I've always come across these questions. What's the difference, Josh? Which one is better? Now, essentially, they pretty much do the same thing, right? They work as presets, which can be directly used from either After Effects or Premiere Pro to make your editing workflow easier and faster. But are there actually some major differences between the two? Let's first talk about ease of use. When you download any type of preset, you obviously expect them to be easy to use. And Mogarts are definitely better than After Effects presets in that regard. All you gotta do is drag and drop the Mogart files into the Essential Graphics window, and you're ready to go. Just place the Mogart on the timeline, replace the default clip with yours, and that's it. Mogarts are also fairly customizable to suit the edit to your needs. On the other hand, After Effects presets can be sometimes quite confusing. While customization is definitely a strong suit for After Effects presets, they also require you to have a fair amount of experience with After Effects, as sometimes you might need to go through a bunch of layers in order to do basic customizations. And by the way, guys, those Mogarts that you saw in the example are from our ePRISM pack. They're not only quite customizable, but they also run super smooth in both Premiere Pro and After Effects, so you can check them out. Now let's talk about customization. After Effects presets and Mogarts are all nice and everything until you can't customize them, right? So the more customizations you get with a preset, the better it is. And this is where After Effects presets absolutely dominates Premiere Pro Mogarts. They're just way more customizable, and you can pretty much tweak every little detail according to how you like it. While Mogarts do offer some level of customization, they often leave a lot to be desired. Don't get me wrong though, the customizations offered by Mogarts a lot of the time are often more than enough. I mean guys, take a look at our Cinematic Titles Mogart pack. Every single thing seems to be completely customizable. From the main title, to the credits and even the background that can be changed in just a click, making it really easy to get that professional and cinematic movie look. So let's talk about performance now. Slow and laggy presets, whether they be After Effects presets or Mogarts, can be really annoying and can really slow down the entire editing process. And honestly, if you think about it, there isn't any clear winners on which one of the two are actually faster. But in my experience, Mogarts can be sometimes notoriously laggy, while After Effects presets are relatively fast once the timeline is cached. But mind you, not all Mogarts are laggy. For example, our Subtle Text Animations pack have almost zero lag or slowdown during their playback, making them the perfect presets if you want to do some quick and cool text animations. And each and every text is also fully customizable, along with tons of options like changing the position, the scale, or even the text color. When you're either building Mogarts or purchasing a Mogarts pack, you want to make sure that the person that built the Mogart is an actual professional, because professionals know how to create Mogarts that run smoothly. Amateurs don't. Let's now talk about compatibility. If you didn't already know, Mogarts are actually created most of the time in After Effects and then actually exported to be used in Premiere Pro. This actually makes Mogarts cross compatible with both Premiere Pro and After Effects. Not all Mogarts open up in After Effects though, so keep that in mind. But check this out, if your Mogart happens to open up in After Effects, you're in luck because that not only means they'll play faster, but you'll also unlock a lot more customizations. And fortunately, the same thing can't be said about the other side. After Effects presets cannot be opened in Premiere Pro. I mean, if that already wasn't kind of obvious already. I mean, it kind of sounds pretty cool to have a presets pack that's both available in both After Effects as an After Effects preset, as well as in Premiere as a Premiere Mogart. Well, guess what? Don't worry, fam. I got you again. We have a new After Effects bundle that includes ePRISM Volumes 1 and 2, Cinematic Titles Volume 1 to 3, 30 Simple Text Animations, and our TV and Laptop Screens pack. And guess what? They're all available in both After Effects and Premiere. I use literally one of those packs every day when I'm video editing. You can check those out down in the description. I promise you'll love them. At the end, guys, both After Effects presets and Premiere Pro Mogarts are valuable tools in the world of video editing and motion graphics. Whether you're a professional motion graphic designer or a beginner video editor, these tools can help elevate your projects and streamline your workflow. Thanks guys.